Developers of the first software-only multi-device Bluetooth audio streaming. Our next guest is involved with that. And uh, we're delighted to welcome, if I get his name right, I hope, Vincent Nalatombi. Hey. The CEO of Tempo. Temp o. That's perfect. <laughs> How are you? Sorry for messing up all of your... Let me just get that microphone up there. There you go. Uh, so what brings you to IFA? And then tell us a little bit about uh, Tempo. So I created Tempo a year and a half ago in France. So oh. we are a nine people startup. And basically we are inventing new Bluetooth products. And we are announcing at IFA our first product that is about audio. It's called Tempo Audio Profile. And it's a software that allows your smartphone to stream music to multiple Bluetooth speakers or multiple Bluetooth headphones at the same time, including if they are for different brands. So for instance, oh. if we because it's, it's, it's often interesting when, when one brand, of course, can get course. you music throughout the house on Bluetooth speakers, but nobody ever plays nice together. You're making e that happen. Exactly, exactly. So for oh. instance, if you take a Jabra, a Bose, and a Marshall, we can connect the three devices together, and we can create a sound system out of these. Wow. So is it limited as to the number of manufacturers that you can do that with now and then more to come into tomorrow or what? Like it's unlimited. It's, it's working with all the devices that are already on the market. Nice. But we're limited to four devices only. Oh, to four devices. Yes. And so that may increase in the future. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. But what's cool about that is, is that that's true. They're Bluetooth. So if you've yeah. got software developed exactly. that we can install on our phones, uh, iOS and Android... So actually, that's a trick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so for now, it's, it, our technology is not an app. It's not something that you could download actually on the store. Oh. But we made our first partnership, and we announced it yesterday. So we made a partnership with Lenovo. And so all the next Moto X4 smartphones from the Motorola brand yeah. are going to have this feature integrated. And it's going to be presented as one of the main features of the new smartphone. Oh, very nice. So in the Lenovo phones, which is the Moto brand, uh, yes, exactly. uh, that'll be included in all future things. What about Lenovo laptops, or like the one I'm using here? Uh, will they, will it, can you do that perhaps even with a laptop yeah, at some we point? Yeah, could, we, could, we could implement that in the laptops, in the TVs, uh, in the tablets, actually all the devices. But like, off, like the Motorola smartphone are actually going to be the first product with our technology. Oh, very cool. And and it's n very interesting technology, so I would hope more and more get the big <laughs> I picture. Hope so too. And you know, maybe the individual Bluetooth manu uh, speaker manufacturers aren't aren't terribly excited, although they should be. I because so. if if uh, us as consumers have invested in a couple of different Bluetooth exactly. speakers, why shouldn't they play nice together? I agree. Right? You can use your old Jobon that you bought three years ago and yeah. the new Bose that you bought recently. <laughs> and they can work together. Exactly. That, that's awesome. How is it that you got to work with Lenovo, though? We, like it was, like I was in San Francisco, so I'm based in France, but I went to San Francisco because I wanted to meet with several partners there. Yeah. And I actually after three months, I realized that I had to go to China if I really wanted to meet the guy who actually decide. Oh, ah, okay. So, so that's like in San Francisco, marketing and public relations kind and, of and you know, distribution <laughs> maybe. Scooting, and yeah. scooting for innovation people. And so we went to China, actually I had no meetings at all. And I spent one month in China, and I had meetings with all the biggest consumer companies, including Lenovo, and they were the most interested in this feature. Nice. Well, then, see, and that's good, because you get a big company like Lenovo, yeah. and then others are going to say, uh-oh, we, we need to pay more attention. So. Yeah, hopefully, like the Samsungs of the world <laughs> would be nice. Apple, that would be awesome, right? Yeah, but you've got to get their attention, and that's not always an easy thing to do. But this is what innovation is all about. And you're exactly. certainly providing an innovative service exactly. that can help a, a whole lot of people. And like I say, it's, it seems to be a win-win-win. Uh, you know, nobody would really be upset about it. This is going to be great. We all have invested in some Bluetooth speakers, and most people, I think, have multiple brands. And then they want to tie them together. You have the ability to make that happen. Exactly. I would like to become a company like Dolby for Bluetooth, like being able to create software innovation, going to go talk to the brands and say, thanks to our software, you could enhance your, uh, your product and so you can create a better user experience for your clients and customers. Ah, and see, being here at IFA Next, that's a great opportunity. because, And I love that philosophy, too. You want to be kind of the Dolby of Bluetooth. Exactly. I think that's awesome. So you've got to check out what Vincent and his team are up to. And of course, I'm sure you'll be announcing on your website other relationships, other partnerships. Visit Tempo. It's T-E-M-P-O-W, like Tempow, if you will, dot com. Tempo.com. 
We'll link you there, too, when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Visit th uh, Vincent, thank you for Thanks. sharing this cool technology with us here at IFA. Thank you. And we'll be back next week with part two of IFA from Berlin, Germany. In the meantime, visit us at intotomorrow.com. Check out the entire three hours of this week's show, as well as all the videos and the highlight video from the show floor. I'm Dave Graveline. Stay tuned into tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.